Hey guys, this is Stephen Gogo, Technical Analyst of Allies Flow, and in this video, I'll discuss about crude oil. Now, you can see this is crude oil, and let me show you now daily time frame. Now, daily time frame crude oil we have seen price is running in a sideways market, right? So, they're running in a zone. So, where is our zone? So let me show you, let me draw a horizontal line by connecting this point. So I'm going to connect this point and okay, let me draw the zone, then it will be better to uh, identify. So this is the body of this candle and this is the tail. I want to connect body and tail. So now we have seen this is the market trading zone right now price is running in this zone have you seen so after breaking this supporting line price dropped down to our previous lower point right so next day we have seen this is a dozy pattern and after that you can see this is the inverted hammer hammer again inverted hammer that means price is when price reached that area toward this uh, resistance zone and seller pressure push lower uh, toward this area and when price reached that area and buyer are pushing toward this area so that means the buyer or seller are still fighting each other here right so let me show you in a four hour time frame how it should look like that now you can see in a four hour time frame uh, price uh, buyer are pushing the price toward this area and after that in that area and the seller just push down the price toward this area so similarly here you can see continuously price was pushing up pushing up pushing up and one sell candle drop down toward this area so if you want to trade crude oil so you must trade in between these range so let me show you another small range mostly prices bouncing from this area right so we have seen prices bouncing from this area bouncing from this area and price again drop down to our area area so if you want to trade so you must trade in this in this uh, area only right uh, this is our trading zone and uh, this zone is running uh, in between the point of Mm, you can say like that 200 point in between this area 200 point price is running in a large time frame so in a small time frame it will look like that right okay now it should look like that right we have seen this is our trading zone this is our trading zone and price mostly running in this area right this is our small zone like that right like that so if you want to trade so we are looking for buy here and we are looking for a candlestick pattern right and in this area we are looking for sell again and by using candlestick pattern in this area that is our trading strategy and if in case price enter in this zone no traded zone this day area leave it the market all right so let me show you no traded area okay let me remove this one and then let me show you rectangle line here and this is called no traded zone got it this is this is no traded zone and if you want to trade, you just try to trade in between this area only. Right. And once they break this zone, start selling below from this area. Right. And if they break this zone and start buying above this area. Remember, because we have seen two time price reverse back from this area and it's a high probability to reverse back again that means you can see price reverse back from this area 
drop down and price pulls up in this area and drop down again if price reach that area it is a high probability to again reverse back so in that case we are looking for a bearish candlestick pattern in this area and similarly we have seen price is bouncing from this area right price is bouncing from this area that means they are forming a support other we have seen multiple price rejection from this area and, it, and that is why we are uh, expecting price will bounce again from this area so we are looking for a bullish candlestick pattern area right if you are not getting any bullish candlestick pattern or buy signal in this area leave it the market or they will enter in this market they might run like that and you don't trade in this zone so most of the people are thinking how many points are there right so their point will be around 70 to 80 point right most of the people are thinking hey how can i miss 80 point you can't guess every point right we need the confirmation high probability tip right in this area there is no high probability in this area in between this area there is no high probability in which direction price will go but above this area it is a high probability reverse back from this area because we have seen previous market behavior they are reversing from this area and price was multiple rejection in that line got it that is all a probability nobody can uh, predict the future right not only market you can't predict anything because all market are running by the people's emotion right that is emotion some logic are there in between your mind and you are entering in this market right that is your emotion or your logic so you can't uh, uh, predict the more um, uh, million of millions people's uh, emotion or their uh, like feelings right so that is a probability remember people are telling uh, that they can predict the market 100 percent accuracy nobody can do that and don't believe them all are probability because this market are there is no 100 percent accurate logic because this market runs by human psychology like your psychology then you are entering this market your psychology you are closing your position and in this market million of million people are there you can't read their psychology right so that is why all of probability so we knows everybody because in our during our school or college i think you people learn about probability right okay if price reverse uh, reach that area there's a high probability to reverse back again right technical analysis are uh, just we are analyzing previous historical data nothing or more right first time reverse and uh, there is a next time probability to reverse back because we have seen there is a multiple rejection are there so again price reverse back and we have seen previous market uh, drop down from this area and there is high probability to drop down again right that is the probability okay so we have seen this is our entry point and here our entry point for the sell below not above remember below if they break this level so it is a high probability to continue trend toward upside right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe and for the evening session you just subscribe my another youtube channel and which is link is given below so i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching